guess what I've been playing lately? So I spent the last month or so being completely obsessed with Hades. And naturally my next project became Hades related. So here's making an isometric background in grease pencil in the style of Hades. And Hypnos in general is a favorite of mine. So I decided to design a bedroom for him using Zag's room as a reference for the style. I first sketched out a reference for composition and rough designs of all the objects and I figured out a color scheme based on the color scheme of Hypnos's design. And I also tested out some lighting ideas. I started by switching the camera to orthographic mode. This shows objects to scale with no perspective, which is what we need for an isometric scene. I then set about modeling the scene with some basic blocks. I'll be using this 3D scene as a reference to trace over in grease pencil so that I can get the proportions, distances and the parallel pa and the parallel lines correctly. I'm extruding out a reference for the tiles as well. Uh, not going into too much detail with this, but I'm adding in 3D references for some of the smaller objects as well. And there's my 3D reference done. Now to start drawing over it in grease pencil. So once I've placed my grease pencil object in front of the camera, I'm drawing a large white rectangle, which is kind of going to be my canvas. I've also reduced the opacity on it so I can see the 3D models to trace over. And with the new material, I can start sketching out the scene on a new layer in Grease Pencil. I'm not being too precious with it since I'm going to be doing the line art later. I'm also adding some details to some of the objects at this stage. And all the little items and like the drapey things that I didn't put in the 3D reference. And there's my sketch. I also added a frame to the scene to make it look like the mouth of a cave and give it a kind of border. And now I'm going to go into the line art. This time I'm making it as clean as I can and adding all the details that I want. I'm making the flagstones a little uneven and here's the line art. So the Hades style has this really comic book-ish feature which is having these really dark black shadows on the characters and environments. I'm adding these in over my line art on another layer. And some last details, the flowers scattered on the ground. I then made materials for all the colors in the scene. I named them by color and not by the object since the colors do repeat a lot. I then laid down some flat base colors for all the main elements. And now I'm adding in the details. With some new materials, I started adding some light and shadow on the objects. and some larger shadows as well on a new layer with the multiply blending mode. I then added some blender lights, an area light to cast some light on the whole scene, as well as a point light for just the fire. I'm drawing two frames for the fire and adding some in-betweens with interpolate sequence. Now it's got a nice little flicker. I'm adding the time offset modifier to the grease pencil object to make it loop. I'm also adding some falling petals by moving and sculpting each petal on each keyframe. And adding in-betweens with interpolate sequence again. I'm also keyframing the point light on the fire to flicker to make it a little more natural.
Now I'm adding a little bit of like a magic mist around the flowers. Again, sculpting and interpolating. And I also gave it a glow effect. I also made a version of the scene where the fire has died down to some embers. And for this one, I made the point light a darker red. I'm also adding a little bit of smoke. I'm also adding a kind of shimmer to some of the objects in the room that will appear from time to time. I've added it to the nectar bottle here. And now I'm adding it to the money pouch as well. I also decided to give Hypnos a little camera pet sleeping in the corner there. Um, I sculpted the keyframes to make it look like the chimera is breathing gently. I also sculpted the scorpion tail to move from time to time. And here's the final result. Like and subscribe for more content and uh, you can also join our discord if you want to hang out with us and other creatives there'll be a link to our discord in the description we also have a pretty exciting announcement to make we recently launched an online store where we have a bunch of cool designs based around uh, the animation and design community and the software that we use including blender here's the design that i made there's a bunch of other cool designs made by the rest of the team as well go check them out we currently only ship to the US and the UK, so if you're in those areas and you're able to buy something, it's a great way to support the team and the channel. Also, if you have any feedback about the designs, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.